In this video, I'm going to be demonstrating the Rudiger row using Harakeki. Now, Harakeki is also known as New Zealand flax. And as that name implies, the plant is native to New Zealand. Now, the indigenous people from New Zealand, they're known as the Maori. And they use uh, Harakeki for anything from making clothing, to baskets, to fish traps, nets, rope, and from my understanding just about everything they use it for. Now, this particular harakaki, it actually has already been processed. My friend Ari from New Zealand actually sent this to me, and rather than just send some big green leaf through uh, mail, in some kind of tube or something, he thought it would probably be better to go ahead and safely just process it down for me. And he actually already had it <laughs> made into cordage. I've actually unraveled it here, and it's kind of reminiscent of, say, like yucca or something. It's kind of soft and long in strands. It actually might be softer than yucca. It seems that way anyway. But anyway, um, since it was my idea, and I told him that I thought it would work with the Rudiger row friction fire method. He wanted to have let me have the first crack at it using it for this method. So that's what I'm going to do here. Now I'm going to get this set up and you'll see how this works. I'm going to be using a regular wood ash with this. Just regular wood ash. And you'll get to see how this works, guys. A bit too much on there. <sighs> Gotta be careful sometimes, guys, putting too much ash on your surfaces like that. There is the potential to <sighs> snuff out an ember. <sighs> but if you get too much on there, just tilt your surface over or blow off <sighs> the excess ash. Get this rolled up here. of a heavy frost out this morning. Get this compacted down. That should be good. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, I'd say that's an ember. I rode a little bit too long. Ow. <sighs> well, it works as well as any other plant that I've ever used. Ha, ha, ha. 